3D putters. That's sick, man. Rad. <laughs> Check it out. Welcome back. Back at it, back in the back in the studio. We have some uh, interesting putters that got we're some, gonna be going through. Got some new stuff, somebody new to the putter game. As far as I can remember, I'm sure somebody will tell me I'm incorrect. You're incorrect. I know you're incorrect. <laughs> When's the last time they had it's one It's been a out? while. Like it's been 80s? a while though. Yeah, it, it's Cobra. So we're talking about the new Cobra line of putters. Mm -hmm. Specifically this one in your hand, Aaron, is the- uh, Supernova, the 3D printed. They got three models of it, but <clears throat> the one that we have here today is a Supernova. Got a lot of stuff yeah, there's going on with it. A lot going on with it. Not just visually. There's a lot visually going yeah. on with that too. So yeah, so these new, the new King line of putters that are all the 3D printed stuff, they've got a, two lines out. We're gonna talk about the other one, but the one we're speaking on today is the 3D printed. This one that we have here in the studio is the Supernova. Um, all the 3D printed ones are kind of running the same. So their big thing that they have is they have lots of parts to them. Um, so they've sunk a lot of money into technology. They've partnered with HP and they've created the first 3D printed putter. So it has what they're calling 3D printed nylon cartridges. Wow. So <laughs> stuffed inside there and you can see it, it looks kind of spider webby um, kind of inside there. It's a different, different look. It's not solid metal. Aaron's excitement is palpable. <laughs> yeah, rocking here. Um, so that's the 3D printed stuff. And then on top of that, they've got a steel chassis in there. So like the whole main piece of it is uh, steel. And that's where they're keeping the low center of gravity and adding like stability to it. And then they have on the crown on the top, which Ryan spoke to that, it kind of looks a little different because it's kind of matte black. And then there's some shiny stuff and they've got forged aluminum on the crown that goes kind of on the fang part of, uh, of this supernova. And then in there, they've got 42 grams of tungsten weights also inside there. So that's just the structure of it. I, and I, then- I will say before he goes on anymore, there's a lot going. This is probably the most pieced together putter I think I've ever seen. Yes, there's um, a so lot of parts to it. We're actually, and, and at least on my channel, and I'll show you how to do it, but I'm gonna put a link to the website at mm -hmm. Cobra because there's a lot of information here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna hit the bigger stuff. We're not gonna drill down into the no. minutia of the whole thing, because we'd all be sitting here for about an hour yeah. talking and about it, so. They talk about it better than we do anyway. Right, so we're gonna link down below to all of the stuff that's going on in the head, and then we'll just kind of speak briefly to mm -hmm. each big item. Yeah, and then the other thing, and this goes through all of the lines of the Cobra putters, is they've partnered with Sick and Bryson DeChambeau, who's kind of made them who they are, I guess, but they have this descending loft technology. So the whole basis of it and kind of the theory behind it is, is whether you hit down on it, hit neutral, or you hit up on it, you're getting the same constant and consistent roll and launch characteristics right. on that. So the, the angles on the face, the lofts actually mm -hmm. kind of change a little bit on there. Yeah, and, and it, it essentially starts at a, if I remember correctly, the less, the least amount of loft the is at the, yeah. yeah, so I was gonna start from the bottom. Yeah. So from the bottom, it's the least One. amount of degree, and then it goes to the most on top. So if you hit down on it, how hypothetically you're hitting the top, so it's adding loft to it. Same mm -hmm. thing on the bottom. Correct. You're hitting up on it if you're there, so you need the least amount of loft. So, and yeah, I'm shocking it took him this long for Bryson to stick these two things together. Yeah, so <laughs> that's where they're at there. Um, one other thing that we'll touch on, and that'll be kind of linked in there. And so like Cobra has on all of their club stock is that Arco, so that Cobra Connect thing. Yep. So you can link this stuff or sign on to it, whatever, through their app, and then you'll get um, putts, uh, strokes gain stats added to everything that you're getting from that Arcos Connect app. Fancy. Yeah, really fancy. <laughs> this has got a very... lot, this has got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, there, there's, it's almost, one would say the simplistic mind of Ryan Miller, the golf pro, that's a little too much. A little too much, but. When it boils down to it, it's a putter. It's a putter. Um, so we've both ran some putts with it. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts on the 3D? It, it, it uh, the 3D, I have no 
freaking idea. <laughs> to be I don't even know what it honest is. with you. I don't know what's going on. I'll be honest, I, I, I don't love this style of putter. Mm -hmm. If I went over to my bag over there and grabbed a putter out, I my putting's been so bad lately, maybe I should like it. Um, <laughs> my putting's been so bad, I went back to the 2009 Scotty Cameron Newport 2. 34 inches, plumber's neck, just old trusty. Stock, as stock as it gets? Pretty much. Um, and I seem to be putting okay with it. Um, but. I've never been a big mallet guy. The biggest mallet I've ever had would be like a Scotty Fastback, mm -hmm. which is just essentially a new port with a little bit of an extender on the back of the head. Um, Odyssey makes a really famous one as well. So I've never been a big fan of the Thangs and, the, and all of this stuff going on or like the Scotty Futura mm -hmm. line, that kind of stuff. So it's a lot to look at for me. I'm more of a traditionalist. Um, I know you have a tendency to play with more mallets. So Yes. So I I like the look of it. Like my, my favorite putter, and I actually went back to it, is that a uh, number seven head that Odyssey yep. makes that fang like their kind of first one yep. um so this is close to it in the other line that they have cobra has they have one that looks just like it yes um and so basically this one looks just like the fang the number seven head from the top but then they added two um uh 3d printed um, let's call it rocket boosters <laughs> okay. i don't know but anyway it's just a, a 3d printed piece out there that they've so added the weight to the outside pieces here actually remind me a lot of like a spider yes yeah where so, they set that weight yep, up instead of being connected between the two it's hollow like mm -hmm. a like a saber tooth was yeah and they have uh they've got a tungsten weight stuck back here in the back and well you can see them from the bottom when you see that mm -hmm. bottom picture where those four screws are is where they have those weights yeah set in there um now i will say with that being said and aaron's going to roll a few putts but you know I, I was shockingly surprised by the feel of it and the balance the balance is, it is insane yeah it is it is wildly stable like so, it feels like the face if you're a, a straight back straight through kind of person this give it a, give it a go so and i'm gonna say that's the big reason why i don't i play with blades more is because i'm not straight back straight through i have an arc so I don't have a tendency to, yeah. It's going in the bag. <laughs> um, I don't have a tendency to take the club straight back, straight through. I bring it inside, I open and close the face a little bit. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm more of a straight back, straight thrower. It, 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 it feels surprisingly well. I don't know how much of that is the sick the face insert. that's insert yeah, it's an or aluminum, if it's the putter. It's an aluminum insert. I, is I'm what sure it's a little bit of is. both, um, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, I like it. Comes, comes stock with uh, KBS, KBS putter shaft, um, and then the grip is. I would compare that to a Super Stroke, maybe like a 2.0 slim. I was gonna say 2.0. Something, something like that. That's that's where they're they're kind of at on that grip. Um, I mean, it sounds good. It's not not pingy or anything maybe like I that. I should putt with this. <laughs> and a new putter. Um, it's, it's surprisingly good. I think that's mm -hmm. the best analogy that I can make to it. Cause it's like, when you open it up and look at it and you see all the stuff inside it's there, lot. it's like, <laughs> what the heck is going on Well, here? even if you're glancing through, so if you're in the market for a putter right now, obviously you probably, I would say, take a look at it. Mm -hmm. You know, Cobra, again, like Aaron said earlier in the intro, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Cobra's done anything. Yeah. I mean, all major manufacturers make some version of a putter. Cleveland makes a putter. Is it any mm -hmm. good? Probably not. Yeah. Don't know. Haven't tested it. Probably yeah. won't. It's like Mizuno. Mizuno had those TP mills, and then they got out of the putter game. That was probably in 90, yeah, it was a while eight, ago. 99. I was in high school. I know that. Um, and then now they're back in it. And I'll, not to get off the point, but Mizuno has done a really good job. Yeah. They, if you like a forge, this is this would be more the insert line. Mm -hmm. So this would compare feel wise to like an Odyssey, um, that that kind of stuff as far mm -hmm. as inserts. The Mizunos are going to compare more to your Scotties, Scott. your Bettinardis. Yep. I will say, and I found this more and more, and I don't know if manufacturers are just rushing because of all the manufacturing stuff that's going is on. Is grip crooked? Every grip I've picked up in the last six weeks has been crooked. Yeah. It and like, it's not, uh, it's straight and then crooked. Yeah, they're just, psh, something's twisted in there. Because um, I, I looked down and saw it was like a little cockeyed. Rolls it straight. Damn it. I, it, it would take a lot for me to want to putt with this, but that has nothing to do with the visuals of it or anything else. It's just, just personal it, preference. It's a it. it's a visual thing for me more mm -hmm. than anything else. It feels amazing. Um, you know, stat wise, it seems like it's holding that face angle perfectly, which is ultimately when it boils down to it. Yeah, your face balance look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's not 
for everything that's going on, it's surprisingly, I mean, there is a lot going on. It's looking from the top. Yeah, it's, when you look from the look side, well. it's terrifying. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. there's the 3D printed thing, there's hollow sections, and yeah, I mean, this is the epitome of a just absolutely engineered to the teeth putter. Yes, yeah. The opposite of a Scotty camera of a Bettinardi yeah, where it's a hunk of metal. And six different pieces that are put together for that putter right there. Right. So, um, but yeah, check out the, uh, the Cobra 3D printed putters. They're, they're in there sick. with- They're sick. They're sick. I'm sorry. Yeah. They're 3D, uh, radical. You um, know, I feel like I'm stealing that joke a lot from Zach from On The Fringe, because he's got an actual sick putter, and it dry, it, it's one of those corny jokes, and now here I am doing it. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, thanks. Um, last thing is price. So these putters start at 249. Super cheap. Um, what is what deal. the, yeah, what they retail at. So that's kind of, I mean, that's really falling in line with basically everything that's coming out and here's my golf pro fitter inside of me saying this you're willing to spend 500 to 600 dollars on a driver you're going to use this three times as much hopefully yeah. closer to twice as much um yeah spend the money here get a cheaper driver yeah because quite frankly you're going to use this a lot more you get more bang for your buck if you start doing dollars per stroke yeah <laughs> yeah heck of a deal and you'll save some strokes hopefully by switching out to a better putter at Probably goes without saying, get fit for Go your get putter. Fit. Don't Go just get your hit stroke a few things. Checked out. Yep. Again, my stroke previously has been not I open and close, so this probably wouldn't be the best thing in the world for me, actually. Mm -hmm. Now, if that had a little bit of a toe bend, like yeah. just a little kicker on it with a little S bend or something in the shaft. 40 degrees, yeah. Yeah, I, then it might fit me a lot better. But um, but make sure you're getting the right putter. Doesn't mean that they don't have one that will fit you. It just might not be this actual model from Cobra. Correct. They might be a slightly different version. Yeah, absolutely. There's our disclaimer. So. Go get fit, go check it out. Subscribe, like, click below, tell all your friends about it. Come take a lesson. Thank you all for checking in. See you later.